What's up fam, it's me Reaction Bro, back at you with another reaction. And today's reaction, we are about to react to another Olympics edition of Reaction Bro. And the Olympics has already started and we have seen a lot of gold medals, mostly for America. Cause that's what we came here for, just to win and get the gold medals. And a lot of fails and a lot of ups and downs. But we're about to react to the 10 Olympic athletes caught cheating at the games because they are our cheaters. I think there recently was one cheater who got caught already for using drugs, but let's get down to reaction because that's why you're here. Let's go. Professional sport, there is an aspect of cheating. Whether disqualified for doping or discredited for bribing the judges, in the end, cheaters never that's really it. win. Here are 10 Olympic Games cheaters from over the years. Dora Ratchin. At the 1936 Berlin Games, German high jumper Dora Ratchin placed fourth in the ladies' high jump and went on to win the gold medal in the European Athletics Championships, breaking Dang. the world high jump record. But it was later discovered that Dora had a slight advantage over the other women. Dora was a man. Apparently, there was some confusion at birth as Ratchin's genitals were oddly small and he was raised as a girl. Ratchin realized he was different in his teens but decided he would continue to live as a woman. He was arrested for fraud, but officials decided not to proceed with charges, instead demanding that Ratchin change his name back to Heinrich, stop participating in women's sports, and return the medals he won. His name was also removed from records. East what German the hell? Losers. East German luge athlete Ochun Enderlein was part of the women's luge team during the 1968 Grenoble Games. Enderlein placed first, winning the gold, while two of her teammates placed second and fourth. Other athletes became suspicious as the team would arrive just before their races and leave quickly following them. It was discovered that the rails of their sleds were heated with chemicals just before the races, which resulted in faster times by reducing friction with the ice. The three losers were disqualified. Boris Dang. Talk about using science. Russian Pretty smart. athlete Boris Onischenko participated in a number of events at the 1976 Montreal Summer Games. He went up against Britain during a fencing match, but the British team complained that one of Boris's points was won without contact being made. His fencing sword was seized and examined. In a pay fencing, the tip of the foil must be flattened with a force of 750 grams, which completes a circuit. Boris's foil had been modified so that he could complete the circuit without touching. He was disqualified for cheating, stripped of previously won medals, and was banned from the games. Dang. Madeline de Jesus. Don't get banned, guys. Come on. Puerto Rican Jesus. Madeline de Jesus was a track and field athlete at the 1984 Los Angeles Games. During the long jump, she landed poorly and sustained a hamstring injury. Fearing she'd be unable to compete in her next event, she came up with a plan. Her twin sister Margaret was an athlete and present as a spectator in the stands. Without anyone's knowledge, Madeline and Margaret switched places with Margaret running in Madeline's place, allowing the Puerto Rico team to advance. When the head coach found out that Madeline had cheated, he withdrew the team from the finals and revealed the scam. Ben Johnson. Ooh. At the 1988 <laughs> Seoul Games, Canadian Talk about sprinter Ben Johnson with your won own gold self. in the men's 100 mm. meter dash pretty. and broke a world record in the process. Johnson had previously won two bronze medals at the 1984 Los Angeles Games, so his coach decided he needed a little boost to improve. A few days later, his urine tested positive for steroids. He lost his medal and world record, falling into disgrace when he admitted to having used steroids since 1981. He was caught using again in 1991 three and was therefore banned for life dang Smith. don't After get caught one bronze and it's better to get caught once not in 1996 twice. atlanta games irish swimmer michelle smith was at the height of her career becoming the first irish woman to win gold at the olympics however it all came crashing down when there were allegations that she tampered with her urine sample in 1996 she was banned from competitive swimming when it was discovered that she used alcohol to tamper with her samples she was allowed to keep her medals as it was only samples that followed the olympics that tested positive at the time marion jones 
After winning two bronze and three gold medals at the 2000 Sydney Games, American track and field athlete Marion Jones was on top of the world. She was the first woman to win that many medals in track and field during the span of a single Olympic Games. There had been rumors of steroid use, but Jones denied any use of banned substances as she had never failed a drug test. In 2007, however, she admitted to lying to the federal investigators and that she had been using steroids well before the Sydney Games. She was stripped of her Olympic medals and sentenced to six months in prison for providing a false statement. Six Several months? Badminton teams. Oh my the God. The Badminton World Federation discovered the doubles players from several badminton teams were cheating during the 2012 London Games. Eight women from China, South Korea, and Indonesia were all disqualified for match fixing. They purposefully lost some of their doubles matches in order to play weaker opponents in others. Apparently, the South Korean and Indonesian players caught on to China's plan and lost their matches in order to thwart it. They were all disqualified and charged with abusing and demeaning the sport of badminton. Cameron nice Vandenberg nice. At the 2012 London Games, South African swimmer Cameron Vanderberg participated in the men's 100-meter breaststroke final. His time of 58.46 seconds broke world records and earned him the gold medal. However, he later admitted that he took extra dolphin kicks to give himself an advantage. Dolphin kicks have only been allowed in breaststroke for a short time and swimmers are only allowed one. Video replay confirmed that he used three. He has been allowed to keep his medal, but future competitions will include better underwater video to ensure the rules are followed. Russian <laughs> athletes. I don't, is that cheating? In 2015, following I don't the accusation see cheating that, that Russian much. athletes cheated their drug tests at the Sochi Winter Games with the help of the Russian government, Russia had been banned from world sporting events, including the 2016 Rio Summer Games. An appeal was made and one day before the Rio opening ceremony, 270 Russian athletes were cleared for competition while 117 were banned because of doping. Good Dang, 117? Uh, 227 are cleared to, to compete and 117, that's one, hour, one third of Russian athletes doped up. That's a lot. Ugh. Well guys, never use drugs. Don't do none of these at home, or if you're going to be going to the Olympics, because that'll be amazing. Don't get those up. <laughs> but, wow. The the swimmer doesn't seem that much as cheating. Eh, let him keep his gold medal. Seems good. It's always good to have a gold medal up. I want a gold medal. Well, guys, I hope you guys love my reaction to this video. If you guys have a recommendation, leave it down in the comments below. And if you guys love my reaction, hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more, I hope you guys do, of the edition of the Olympics because it is trending. Hit the subscribe button and I hope to react with you guys next time on Reaction Bro. So like always, peace out.